Welcome to this lesson about solving nonlinear equations using bracketing methods. Uh, bracketing methods are widely used in uh, finding the solution of uh, nonlinear equations because they have a very unique property, which is that they ensure finding a solution. Maybe this is a very strong uh, statement, however, uh, it is a true statement for bracketing methods uh, when the function is a continuous function. Now let's have a look about uh, an arbitrary function that's changing its value and then it crosses the y, uh, sorry, it crosses the x-axis at some point. This point is called the root of the function. The root of the function is defined as uh, the, uh, the point or the value of x where f of x is equal to 0. This uh, uh, is uh, the general idea about finding a root. However, for bracketing methods, we talk about knowing two values or, or knowing two values of x uh, 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 between which the function changes from positive to negative or from negative to positive. If the function is a continuous function, then changing its sign from positive to negative uh, ensures that it has a value of zero at some point. So uh, the mathematical st statement for that is uh, if x1 is less than x2 and f of x1 times f of x2 is less than 0. This part of the statement uh, just says that the sign is changing. Whichever, if f of x1 is positive and f of x2 is negative or vice versa, then multiplying them will always be less than 0. However, if they have the same sign, positive or negative, then the multiplication will be greater than or equal to 0 which we are not interested in actually. To have a bracket, then one value is a positive and the other is a negative. If this statement is true, then there exists a, a value of x, x3, that lies between x1 and x2 for which f of x3 is 0, which is the definition of root. So for now, if uh, this is true, then there exists some point f of x3. Bracketing methods uh, search for this value, search for this x3 by different methods. In this lesson, we're going to introduce two different uh, methods. Actually, they are not that much different, uh, but uh, they are quite simple and very powerful because of their simplicity. In the next section, we will start talking about the first of those two methods, which is the bisection method. The bisection method is probably the most straightforward and the most simple method of finding root. And although it's simple and straightforward and old, it's still an extremely powerful method that's used everywhere for finding a lot of uh, the solution for a lot of problems. So next, see, uh, see you next video.